Hello everyone, welcome to another part of New Pokemon Snap. Turns out there was a big update to this game that added three new areas and a bunch of new Pokemon and stuff, so I definitely, definitely want to do this. It has been a bit, so I'm probably going to be a bit rusty on mechanics and stuff. Yeah, we'll probably get an overview here. New areas added. Secret Side Path, Day Night. Mighty Wide River, Day Night. Barren Badlands, Day Night. Prerequis prerequisites must be met to unlock new areas. Content added, filter stickers, frames, profile icons, research titles, completion conditions changed, games for completing certain areas of the conditions for completing certain areas of the game have been updated. New Pokemon counters and wage you in these newly added areas. We hope you continue to enjoy your research of the Lintal region. So yeah, it was really cool for them to give a update with some actual meat to it. Professor. Here. Professor, you look really happy. Did something really good happen? Oh. Oh, there you are. Excellent timing. Here's the thing. You see, I was re-examining the results of our survey so far, and I found new teleportation points. One of them is near the jungle on Bella Silva Island, the other is on Veluca Island just beyond the desert. Yay! Awesome, but haven't we already researched those islands? All right now. That's the exciting thing about research like this, you can discover something new every day! I'd imagine the ecosystems on the same island would be similar to each other, but you never know. <laughs> well, we'll be the ones looking into it. Yep. That's right, counting on you. That's right! I've heard one of these places might be a bit nostalgic for me. What? I think this will turn out to be a really fun expedition. What? Alright, I'm gonna take a ton of photos there too. Nostalgic to Todd? Did they add a level that's like, from the original staff? What is- what? The cool filter. Heart. Thank you. Yeah, balloons. Ribbons. O okay, there we go. <laughs> I wanna get to the game. All right, let's go. So, yeah, there's three new areas, some new Pokemon. What What do you want, Phil? Hey, I gotta tell you something. This is just between you and me, okay? You're not gonna believe this new feature for the Neo One the professor's testing out. <laughs> Apparently, it shrinks the whole pod and whoever's riding in it. So, wanna take you for a quiet little test run? What's up? Well, hey, you two. What you doing? Oh, nothing. Professor. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, professor. Wow, snitch. Hey, cut it out. Look, I'll explain later, okay? <laughs> Works for me. Anyway, the shrink function should kick in automatically if you run a scan at this one spot in the nature park. Wait, excuse me? You're like, I'll tell you later, and then... Okay, I, I, yeah, I mean, without context, I guess that would be a little bit confusing. It should kick in automatically if you run a scan at this one spot in the nature park. So. Let's find that spot. Why only that spot in particular? I guess probably because that's where... The, the actual reason is that's where they decided to make it the area. New area unlocked. So let's go to Florio. And... Oh, wait. Yeah, Nature Park. Here we go. Cool. Wait, what, what did you say? You said something. Something about the day. Alright, well, we probably have to go in the day, right? So we just gotta find this spot. And this is good because I'll be able to refamiliarize myself with the controls because... It has been a minute, new Pokemon Snap. But yeah, it was really nice of, uh, and cool of Nintendo to put this in. Um, I didn't expect this to get any updates. Um, so yeah. Alright, so we have to run a scan at a spot where there's like a hollow in the tree. And, okay, we got music. That's our scan. Uh, Illumina thingies. Fluff fruit and take our pictures and I think I yeah I have the one where we take a bunch on all right where is this hollow in the tree it's not that right no must be a different like little hollow in a tree somewhere there's the emolga yeah yeah there's that whole thing is it you no well, there's just a bidoof hanging out over here now all right, where's this tree at? I want to go into the new world. Yeah, yeah, you. I don't. I don't care about you. I've seen all of you. I've, I've completed this game. Well, got pictures of all the Pokemon. Not technically completed it, I suppose. Is it you? It might be you. Yes, there it is. Hold the base of the tree appears to lead somewhere. Okay. To see a whole new world of Pokemon. 
Wait, we're gonna be a honey I shrunk the kid's size. This is cool. So things are gonna be giant. Look at this. We're gonna get to see some unofficial G Gigantamax Pokemon. I, I haven't played Sword Shield. <laughs> oh my god, that's a massive Wurple. Okay, well this is a really easy way to get big size pictures. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is a very, very easy way to get big size pictures of some of these. Oh my god! Hi, Dodrio! Hi! Oh, that's terrifying, actually. Later, Dodrio. <laughs> Well, this is cool. This is neat. Yeah. Uh. Oh, hi, Molga. Massive picture of you. Like, this is cheating in photography. <gasps> Shroomish! I love Shroomish. Just like that guy in Ruby and Sapphire that says I love Shroomish. Wait, I'm riding on the Molga? I love Shroomish, dude. Shroomish are awesome. What are you doing, man? Okay, what else do we got? Uh. Heavy snores echo from within. Oh, it's a Snorlax. How do we get over there? I don't know, man. I don't know how we get over there. There must be an alt path somewhere, or maybe it's right here. Is that a Torterra? That is a Torterra. And that's a Bidoof butt. Oh, that's terrifying. Can you not? Uh, look at that donk. Okay, can we get in there? Hi. Hi, Bidoof. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to get to the Snorlax, actually. We must have had to do something weird. I hope we can choose this from the menu now that we've discovered it. Or or is it considered like an alternate path of uh, the Nature Park level? Huh. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, there's a Taylo. More Pichu action there. Make sure. Oh God! Get out of here, Kaiju Dodrio. Huh. It's kind of terrifying, actually. They're very, very massive. Hey okay, guys! Oh my God! Kaiju battle? No. Okay, they don't want to fight. Huh. Oh no! I didn't mean to hit you. Yeah, growl at each other. Fight. Huh. Want it? I want to hit that. It's so far away, though. Okay, there we go. I did it. Hi, what did that do? Anything? I don't think it actually did much. What is... Oh, Pidgeot. Okay. <laughs> this is all just very terrifying and crazy. Alright. Um, through here? Galushi? Uh, what is that? A bird Pokemon's nest. Maybe its owner is out looking for food. That's probably the Pidgeot, right? So I imagine I could maybe... feed the Pidgeot an app- a fluff fruit. Okay. Okay, well that was still neat. I Can't want to, to find out how to get that Snorlax, but I'm not totally positive how. And this update just came out, so I don't think I'm going to find much help online. That was really cool, though. That was really cool. We at least got a uh, Shroomish as a new Pokemon. Photographed. Like, this game already had a glut of content anyway, so that's why it's even more amazing to me that they added this in. Oh, and wait, Shroomish, you're just out here now? Like, you were not in the game before. I'm fairly sure. So it is crazy that you're just here now. Okay, and yeah, we come out over there. Okay. Okay, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking... I still need to get a picture. Like, I could have gotten a picture of Snorlax, but... I want to actually see if I can figure out... how to actually get in there with the boy. The absolute unit. I got too distracted by Bidoof, but... For now, we can go just go over your photos. Let's talk afterwards. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. We kind of got to show the photos to you, so this wasn't a very sneaky idea. Um... I mean, I probably have some better pictures of various things. Do you like this massive picture of Dodrio? 
Does that tickle your fancy? <laughs> Let's do that. Um, these fight... No, these are bad pictures of Wurmple. They all suck. Um... I got a better two-star of you, maybe. Yeah. Emolga. Oh yeah, that's totally a better picture of Emolga. And then there's some Shroomai. You're kind of looking straight at the camera here, so I think this one's better. Bidoof. I should have took a picture of the butt. But whatever. Bidoof stares ominously at me from the shadows. And um, a big-ass Torterra doing its thing. Um, it's actually, yeah, there's the four star. We've gotten that before, but, um, do I have a better one star of Torterra? Because apparently my one star, I don't really think so. That's kind of an adorable picture with Torterra, like, smiling at them. I like that picture a lot, actually, but we won't submit it because, um, you're probably going to be like, eh, I hate that. How about it? What do you got for me? 989. Yep, it is so up close to me because I was small. But it's not better than the other one. I mostly just submitted that one as a joke. Uh, that photo looks better. Nice work. Uh huh. Whoop, that's a 4K. So we gotta. We look, look, we're still getting diamonds even now. This certainly makes it a lot easier to get these. Like, look at that. God. it's It makes Emolga especially so much easier. I bet all the people that got 4,000 on these beforehand are slightly pissed off at this update because of how easy, how much easier it made some of them. They're like, damn it, I did it the hard way. Aw, I thought that was a 4K picture. Nice work. Bam, there we go. Better Bidoof. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Like I said, still want to see if I can figure out how to get Snorlax. Uh... Yeah. I well, suppose I have to up the research level to... Oh, that might be it. Maybe we have to up, up date the res or upgrade the research level of side path. Excellent. It's a re uh, record course score. Yeah. It's cool and all mirror. Now then. Once we're done here, let's all convene for a talk. Okay. Uh, return to camp. Are you going to yell at us? I feel like I'm... I feel like you're going to yell at us. And that's mean. All right, what you got for us, Mirror? Am I gonna get paddled? Come on now. Just a second, you three. What were you thinking? That shrink function is still in testing. You should have asked me first. <laughs> oh man, our cover got blown already. We showed the pictures to him, Phil. What do you? What did he? What was he supposed to think? It actually was a giant bidoof. Sorry. So, sorry, Professor. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Professor. All right, all right. Can we cut them a little slack? Think of all the sights we never would have seen, gotten to see otherwise. Wow. Hang on, Todd. Did you know they were up to this? Oh, I mean, it's dangerous. It shrunk us down. What if there was like no way to return us to normal, or we got eaten by a wormhole or something? <laughs> I might have. Sorry about that. Hmm. Look, just remember that the shrink function isn't fully tested yet. Right. It's for the nature park only. You won't be able to use it anywhere else, all right? Gotcha. Got it. Yeah. Yes, Professor. All right, maybe there'll be another update that adds the shrink function in more areas. All right, what is this new request I just got? Because I did just get a new one. Uh, no. Let's uh filter it to Florio and see... Because it was a new one, right? Uh, Dancing Trio. Bill said we saw three streamers dancing together, but I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen one. So, yeah, that's just... I want to try and figure out how to get the Snorlax. So... Let's try and figure out how to get the Snorlax. Alright, and yes, we can just choose it. Yes, cool. Thank you. Oh, and there's a night version, too. Because of course there is. Cool. Okay, so never mind. Now we got to show off the night version. Which... Are Snorlax nocturnal? Maybe it's awake at night? I don't know. Or maybe we'll um, be able to see them now that it is night. There's a Caterpie though, but I've already got Caterpie. Unfortunately. Alright, Caterpie. Hey, big guy. 
Oh, hi. Function for a nighttime test run, huh? Jeez. Okay, what's that? Hi, Combi. What is that? I hear big snore. Big snore from somewhere. I'm trying to scan pretty frequently because I remembered that doing a lot. Oh, hey, you guys. Fungus and Amungus, or whatever. I forget what you guys are actually called. Yeah, Fungus. Yeah, Fungus and Amungus. Cool. Well, you're new. What other new stuff do we have? Anything I'm missing? Okay, no, just you guys. What happens if I, uh, do one of those? Nothing? No? Okay. Fine. Be boring. Uh, ooh. How do we get over there? I don't know, man. That's what I want to know. Or was that just flying? I don't know. Uh, wait, are we... Oh, no. Damn it. How do I get to the Snorlax? I don't... I don't know. I don't know what I would have to change to access the Snorlax. Uh, hi, Ducklet. Go away. Is it gonna be one of those weird convoluted things where I have to, again, where I have to get, like, a Pokemon to move in a very specific area and do a very specific action? Um, and it'll allow me to take that side path and unlock it? I'm willing to bet that's probably the case, which... If it is, I really hope there's <laughs> some guides online to help with that. No. Hi, Murkrow. And then Pincer's hanging out in the ground, I see. Um, well, we know how to get you out of the ground. Sticking out of the ground, it's snoring. Hey, you. Wake up. Wasn't it? It was this or apples, right? Yeah, there we go. Get out of the way, Murkrow. Huh. 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 Wake up. Okay, never mind. It, whatever. I've already got Pinsir anyway. Who cares? Uh, Vespaquin. Vivalin. Oh, hey, Nappin Pidgeot. Uh huh. Tangrowth chillin'. Big boy Tangrowth. Big lad. Uh. Wow, the, yeah, the, the perspective on these to actually land the shot is very weird now. Huh. Alright. Oh. Giant Pidgeot. There we go. This is like the Island of the Giant Pokemon episode from uh, the Kanto uh, series. Except the giant Pokemon aren't robots. Because I'm pretty sure that was the story with that one. It was actually an amusement park, and all the Pokemon were giant robots. Which is a funny idea. I'll give them that. Alright, so now we're done. Yeah. And then... So are you guys in just the regular level now, Fungus? Must be. It's time. Part of me thinks I'm supposed to get to a new research level to get to the Snorlax, but... They also just straight up say, like, how can we get over there? So I, I feel like it's just one of those weird, obscure series of events that you have to do to get it uh, to actually show up. But whatever. We did it. And I'll Welcome probably back. try and see if I can find some information about how to see that Snorlax. I'm not really sure, though. Uh, okay, so we got you doing whatever that face is. It looks like you just ate a lemon. And Vespaquin, like, yelling at someone, like, Oh my god, I can't believe you broke my, my prized vase. It's like an angry mother. Which makes sense. Or a queen. Fungus. Just ate a, a lemon head. Boom. And 5,000. Yeah. Vespaquin, 
Got that new pose for you. This is probably a very, very good way to get different... Oh, cool, and I completed your page. To get different poses for the various ones, too, because I remember some of the poses being pretty obscure and weird to actually get. God, you need 100,000 points to upgrade the research level here. That makes me think maybe that isn't how you get the Snorlax, but maybe it is? Like, that's a lot of points, right? Mm-hmm. Oh wow, and this increases the Park Knight level too, if you do get pictures of Park Knight, since you're technically there for like a little bit. You discovered a route on the secret side path that leads to Torterra's nest. Wait, what? Oh. Wait, so if I go back, mm, so I, I'm guessing what happened there is I took a different route at night, or I found a different route and didn't realize that I did? So now maybe if I go in the daytime, we can go down that route. Photo decks of 2 million, flower field night, cool. Um, well, let's see what that new request from Todd is. I'm gonna try and get as many hints from the game as I can to figure this stuff out. So I don't have to resort to looking up online because I, don't, I honestly don't think there's gonna be anything anyway. Um, all right, myth of the jungle, wait, is, no, that's not the new one, right? It's gotta be in Florio. If it's, a, if it's a new request, the parachutes. I bet getting a shot of fungus when they are floating down from the air would be worth the effort. Why don't you give it a try? I don't know. I'm actually good. So, let's try Florio Day now, because there might be some new stuff there since we can take a different path. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot, and I'll see you if, if anything actually changes. Because I want to try and have this update in like one video, so it's not too confusing for people that are watching the playlist. Um, but uh, yeah, I, we'll see. Just a hunch, but I have a feeling you'll find something new. Okay, if you say so. Uh, well, this is new. I'm, like, under Torterra. I don't think this happened last time. Yeah, this must be the Torterra's nest that was talked about. Well, the professor said I would find something new. But it might just be a different pose for another Pokemon or something. It's time. Alright. So, I didn't really see anything new. I got a new pose for Shroomish because I, uh, bonked it on the skull with a fluff root. But, that's really all I got. Um, I'm not sure what this new thing that the professor wanted me to see was. Um, I clearly went to Torterra's nest path. Oh, I, I got the timing badly. I clearly went to Torterra's nest path, but... It seems like that was the same path I took the first time. I, I don't know, man. Didn't seem much different. Um, and we got no expedition points for that. Yeah, because I didn't actually get anything new in that area. Um, all right, let me see if I can actually find some stuff online uh, about this Snorlax. Okay, yeah, as expected, I don't really see anything online uh, about how to get Snorlax. So I think we'll go check out the other new areas and uh, do some stuff there. And then maybe at the end, I'll kind of run through on my own time and see if I can figure out maybe some of the ones that we missed. So yeah, I thought I interacted with most things. That last time I went through, I like smacked Snorlax with fluff fruit and threw some Illumina orbs at it. It didn't budge, so. Mighty Wide River. This nutrient-rich river flows through the entire island. Did you know? When you're behind the camera, it's easy to... Yeah, but, uh. I do wonder... Um, Todd said that one of these areas is nostalgic for him. Um, so I'm curious which one that would be. <laughs> but it said there's 20 new Pokemon, and we found two so far. So we still got 18 more to go. This stream is a tributary. Uh huh. It'll take you to the main river. What is it tributing? What is it paying tribute to? Huh? Uh. Hey, I'm scanning. 
bunch. What? Oh, hi! There's Sobble and Grookey. Um, neither of those are new, I believe. I believe they were in the, uh, mobile version. Some Apalm up there. Sounds like there's something making noise back there, but all I see is a beauty fly. Huh? Oh, my for alligator! Hi! What's up? You tried to spook me. What is that noise? <gasps> Psyduck! Awesome. Zai -yi -yi. Let's go. I love Psyduck, and it's getting bullied by Apalm. Why are you doing that, Apalm? This is mean. Yeah, go away. Wait, what is this? Ursa Ring Claw Marks. This is how it marks its territory. Okay. So there's an Ursa Ring hanging out around here? I don't see one. But that must mean it's around here somewhere. Got an eye out for you, Ursa Ring. Can we see some Teddy Ursa as well? There's two cannon again. Oh, wow, that's a hard one to hit. Jeez. I wonder if you get something for hitting both of those, but that's like... Super hard to nail down the timing on. Some new pictures of two cannon there. Oh, can we go behind the waterfall? Of course we can! Looks like there's something behind the waterfall. Something orange. I don't know, man. Oh, there's a crystal bloom! Whew! I did it! That don't need to- Oh, my special Vivalin? Yeah? Maybe. Uh, oh, sorry. I've been to- Oh, my Tropius! I love you, Tropius! The best HM user a trainer could ask for. Also, I just love your design. The idea of it being a flying grass type because it just has leaves, like, on its back is very cool. Hey, Swampert. Some pictures of you, too. What's in there? Huh. We can get a picture of the Psyduck donk. Here's something snoring. I think that's just the Swampert, though. Mm hmm Hi, Psyduck. Bonk. Where where? You're not gonna get a headache and use Psychic on me or whatever? That you did in, um... The anime. Alright, so... What next? And there's another Crystal Bloom. These sections where it goes really fast, and it seems to have a bunch of Crystal Blooms are like, Oh my god, how will I hit all these Crystal Blooms? Hi! You're, you're my reward for the Crystal Bloom? Cool. Cool. Maybe I just missed some crystal blooms and there's something you gotta do with that to get Snorlax. Uh Tropius. Already got Tropius. There's for alligator. Um I guess it's not Tropius, it's Tropius? Because it's supposed to be like tropical, I guess. I don't know. I'm imagining it probably doesn't super matter. It is kind of intimidating just seeing a fur alligator swimming like that. That's that 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 if I had actually been witness to the jump scare, I probably would have jumped. But I was looking the other way, so it could have just gobbled me up and I never would have known. So All right. We got a few things there. It is so neat that they're just actually full new levels. That is super cool. Oh yeah, we did technically get three things and a new Vivalin pattern. Um, because yeah, Tropius. Alright, for alligator, um, I really didn't get you super well. I kind of just got your head. Um, and I got Psyduck getting bonked. Boom. Uh, yep, we got the new Vivalin. And Tropius. Uh, I think... I mean, none of them you're really looking at me. So... I don't know, I guess let's just go with that one. Here we go. Cool. Neato, neato, neato. And yeah, we probably have a night version of it as well. That's a pretty adorable picture for Alligator, you just can't see most of his body. Yeah. I just like it's just a little head poking out of the water like a like a gator would. A new discovery. Psyduck. Bonk. It's 
been bopped. I love how this game actually uses the verb bop when I use bop a lot when I'm just talking. Nice work. Like I say, I'm gonna bop this enemy or something. It's validating my choice of verb. Excellent. All right. Had to readjust in my seat there. Got to sit up nice and tall. A new discovery. There's Tropius. Nice work. Boom. Okay, size was very good. Okay, it was a 4K. Even though I wasn't even trying to look at the camera, but it was a very nice candid picture, I suppose. Okay, so you only require 45K to reach the next level, which seems totally more doable than the 100K on the other ones, so... I'm guessing maybe the 100K just gives you... It doesn't really do much for you, or it just gives you access to new poses or something. 7,000 photos. I'm still getting these things. Jeez. Alright, I do want to check the new requests when I see them, because... They could potentially have hints to some of the Pokémon or things that I'm missing. Uh, alright. So, Joltik adjoined? What? Okay, that was, uh, Bill of Silva, right? Yeah. So, let's go all the way to the end here. Whoops. Psychic sidekick? Must be this one. Hey, you gotta hear this. I saw a Magikarp floating in the air, but it definitely wasn't using Splash. I wonder what that was all about. Must be Psyduck helping you out, right? Okay. Oh my god, what? 9,000? <laughs> Somebody's making the... Scouter. The the Vegeta, what, it's over 9,000 meme. With Glalie. That's pretty funny. People are doing some funny things with the stickers, so... Let's see if we can go to the mighty wide river at night. Here. Huh. You actually can't. Okay, well... I don't... As far as I know, I didn't miss anything there, but... I'm sure I did, or I have to upgrade the level, so... Let's just go to the new area now. Barren Badlands. A wasteland overlooked by cliffs, where fissures spew heat and toxic gas. And, uh, yeah, then I'll go back into the other areas and see if I can find anything new with the rest of the time. And figure out how to get that darn Snorlax. Oh, my, it's a Tepig! Did we... We didn't see Tepig before, right? Tepig was missing. Tepig? Well, this is certainly a big man in the desert. Hey, Tepig. And Diglett, yeah, you're new as well. Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig, trio, trio, trio. Diglett, dig, Diglett, dig, trio, trio, trio. God, that song was so addicting. Uh, I want to get a better picture of the Diglett. But I can't really. There's a Hippodon up there. <gasps> Ooh, you! Crustle! Yeah, you're cool. I like you. Uh... Hi? What was that? What was that? Uh... Unstable rock. It looks like if something hits it... I don't suppose a fluff fruit would be able to budge that. I do not think so. Considering I'm throwing fluff fruit at it right now. I really want to knock it over though. Knock it over. Oh. Boom. What? Oh, something hit it. No. Okay. Come on, come on. You gotta let me see. What, are, what am I looking at now? Where? What? 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 Okay, I'm too late on some of these things, I guess. The bubbling water seems to be connected to... Another geyser. Yeah, the one I... Plugged. Okay. Huh. Okay. I thought apples or something would work. But no. Hmm. Yeah, that was probably some kind of Pokemon. I think you're the one that knocked down the rock. I think I was too slow on some of that stuff. That's also a mini ore, I think. Hanging out over there. Hey, Diglett. Okay, well, yeah, there's definitely a puzzle there to solve. <gasps> Swalot! I love you, Swalot! Oh, really? I actually really like Swalot. Uh, Torchic isn't new, but you. Let's just get a few more creatures. Coughing! 
Coughing! You're hiding from me, coughing. Why are you doing this? That looked like an alt path I could take up there. Okay, well, that's super cool that Sway Lot's just like, yo, what's up? Hey, Sway Lot. Alright, so what is this stuff? Chemicals formed from the swamp have crystallized over long, many years. Strong poisonous gas and liquid is spilling out from this boulder. Okay. Does that do anything? Uh, doesn't really seem so. Maybe there's another crystal bloom that I had to hit somewhere. This hole spouts noxious gas. Poisonous liquid is pulled around it. Okay, you're giving me a lot of information to examine. It's hard to keep up with everything. Something must have landed here to form this larger crater. Yeah, mini ore. Right there. Okay. Lichen boy. You nerds are all hanging out over here. There's another diglet. There's Torchic. Hey, big guy. Uh, alright, that might be it. It's feels like we found a lot of uh, Pokemon here, though. I'm hearing noises. There's signs of Pokemon living in this small hole. Ooh. Onyx burrows all over the holes in this cliff face. Wait, are these... Yeah, they're giant Onyx holes. That's terrifying, actually. That's terrifying, man. Something that can has that much destructive power to make a hole that big in rock? Like, that's terrifying. I mean, it is just a giant rock snake. Yeah, there you are, Onyx. I see you. You're very, very cute. Uh-huh. So, that appears to be it. Yeah, I definitely feel like I missed something at maybe the beginning of this level. For sure. And we definitely don't have anywhere near all 20 of the Pokemon. I haven't even seen all near all 20 of the Pokemon. Like... We saw Snorlax, but we didn't get a picture of Snorlax. And we only added five more here, so... We're at like 12 or 13, I guess? So we're missing a few. Um... What's my best picture of Tepig? I'm just gonna go with that one. Diglett. Uh... Yeah, you were never really facing me. Like that one you're facing me, but you're miles away. I think it'd be better just to get the size score off of that one, even though it's not looking. That's fine for you. I have a really close-up one of you. Although your entire body isn't in frame, so we might get some points docked for that. And that's a horrible, horrible photo of coughing. So, cool. Glad, uh, I got that. Maybe there's a night version of this level too, though. There wasn't of the other one, but this one may be different. Because that would probably add a few new Pokemon into the mix. A new discovery. Diglett. Nice yeah. Work. I just got a bunch of terrible photos here. Jeez. At least Crustal was good, and Swylot uh, seemed nice like it was work. pretty good too. Swylot, Swylot. Boom. A new discovery. Look at that mustache. Nice work. Boom. Oh, almost 4,000. Yeah, if it. If I'd gotten more of its whole body and coughing just peeking up above the rock like a creep. Yeah, and there was a separate path to take there, too. Mm. Yeah, I do, I do feel like I can do something else there. Like there's an alternate path I can take or something like that. And we can go check. Fantastic work. Alright, so let's go check out... Our photo decks, I think it was called. And see if we can find um, any new cool stuff there. I swear, Phil never settles down. Just when you think he's a blah 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 dub. Lab. Yep. Um, photo decks. Cool. I wonder if there's a new Illumina Pokemon? It'd be interesting if that were the case. Aha! I still have all my stickers, even though I haven't actually completed the Pokédex anymore! Alright, so... 
Pokemon registered 224, but there are some missing, right? Does it show you empty slots? I don't remember. I don't think it does. Um, so it's actually going to be sort of hard for me to even know when I've gotten all of them now. Right? Huh. Maybe I should look up really quickly. Um, well, I... I I suppose I can look at what the new Pokemon are, because there are lists of the um, new Pokemon that are included. I did not mean to click on that. <laughs> um, there there are lists of like the new Pokemon that are in it, all 20. So I can see what I'm missing and where they may be, etc, etc. But yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pop into some of these levels and see which we can find. Oh, it's a mini ore that causes this to fall in here. The only problem is I still don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Like, the geyser was just... Do I have to wait until the geyser happens to do it? But that... I don't know. That seems like it'd be hard to time. I'm not totally sure. Hey, what's up? Mandibuzz. I thought it was you that caused the thing to fall. But no. A sweet scent seems to be coming from the sand around here. Aha! What is this? Sweet scent. Who's using sweet scent? Oh yeah, I never did try music with, like, the Snorlax shit. I f totally forgot the music function existed. Well, why is there a sweet smell coming from the that stuff? Bubbling water, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. I mean, I imagine knocking the rock over is the first step, but I don't know what you're supposed to do after that. And I've played music, I've scanned a bunch. There's not another rock to knock over into that one, I don't think. Oh. Okay, so... Didn't really see too much there, still unsure... Uh, of what I've got to do in some areas. I do got... I did, I did get what I feel like are some better pictures for a lot of things. Um, I get this better Swalot picture here. Um, I get some pictures of Minior, picture of you, uh, and I got this dopey Onyx picture, but I, I don't, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do to get some of these other things to happen. There's like, Let's do this. the sweet scent area with the Pokemon, nice um, there's throwing the rock into the geyser. All I can think of is to throw it like when the water's actually shooting out. And maybe if you time it just right, then it causes the water to shoot out of the other geyser and maybe a Pokemon comes flying out of it or something. Uh, I'm gonna try that. It does also seem like there's an alternate path, but I don't know how to unlock it. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do there either. And 40,000 points seems totally attainable, so maybe some things change once you hit 40,000 tier 2? I'm not really sure, but... I'm gonna keep trying, I am. I screwed up the rock thing, so I just came back to submit a better picture of Tepig. Um, so let's do that one. It looks very, very adorable. And we can get a few more points for this. I'm just basically going to keep retrying it until I actually get the rock the rock to fall in when the geyser's actually shooting. Because that may be something different. Okay, so... I tried putting the rock in before the thing erupts in the hope that it would then erupt over here but I don't get it I'm, I'm still uh, a bit confused here um, 
And I still don't know what the deal is with this. Like, I've tried everything over here and I just, I can't figure it out. Whoa, okay, I didn't notice you before. Hey, idiot. Hey, there you are. Silicobra? Yeah, you were hanging out in the grass. Or in the, in the grass. In the sand over here. I do want to try and find out how to get to that, but I just don't know. Also, can I hit coughing with something to make him come out? Kinda. But yeah, I want to know how to go down that path. That's clearly... Oh, hey! Whoa, you actually came out this time. I've never gotten coughing to actually come out and say hey here. Here we go. Uh-huh. And then this whole thing. Yeah. I don't think we care much about the crystals. I think they're kind of... nothing. Alright, I think that was some new stuff. Uh, yeah, I got a new diglet. The Tepeg digging actually wasn't new. Surprise, surprise. Wow. Okay, but you, uh, I hit you with a fluff fruit and you got kind of pissed off at me. You apparently hiding in your shell is, or under your thing is nothing. I thought that was gonna be a different one. Um, I got some close up pictures of, uh, you. I've never gotten a four of you, but I'm going to submit it just because. Um, and these I'll probably submit too because it's uh, probably a better coughing picture than I had before. I got a new Torchic? What? Wait, I've never submitted a two star or a one star for you before? What? How did, how did all this time I only had a one star Torchic picture? I know it, it, it's just it burning the food. I, I'm pretty sure I tried that about a billion Let's times and it this. never... It, I always got like a three star or something. Nice work. But whatever. At least this will make it easy to um, mm, nice work. get a bunch of points. Because we did get a bunch of new nice poses work. and stuff. That's a 4k for you. That's a good upgrade. Nice work. Yeah, I mean, we... Uh, upgrading the research level must do something, because uh, we still have three more poses to get for Crustle, and I have no idea how to get those if we don't get, like, a new research level. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out, hopefully. So let's see how many research points we got for that. And see if maybe that put us up to the new level. We need 10,000. Yes! Level two. Oh. Look at that, you've had a new blah, blah, blah. Thank you, got a new course record score. I really Excellent. don't care. Ah. Uh, by the way, thanks to the progress you made in your research, I've got something to report. Fill you in once your photos are squared away, I think you'll be pleased. Okay. Uh, what new thing do you have to report? Is it that we can go here at night? Cause that would be nice would be very, very nice. Hey, so... You know that swamp we found in the Badlands with all that green gas? Apparently it's poisonous gas, right? Well, no shit. Okay, great. Right. Yes, it is. It's perfectly safe inside the Neo-1, but it does appear to be an extremely toxic gas. It's interesting to think that some Pokemon actually prefer living in a place like that. No. And now, we can go there at night now, right? You guessed it. Be sure to do some really thorough research while you're there. Of course, let's go right away. Awesome. Night time. Let's go. And see what we can pick up there. Yeah, I did think it was weird that there wasn't nighttime versions of uh, the levels. So, cool. Now we got nighttime. This might be a monstrously long episode, but like I said, I wanted to keep all, like, the whole update in one video, so it's not like, I don't know, confusing, and I don't have to make like a separate playlist just for the updated version of new Pokemon Snap. Uh, it makes sense in my head. It probably doesn't make sense listening to this weirdo talk. But, ooh, 
Rockruff. Seems like some Pokemon come out at night to avoid the daytime heat. Hey, Rockruff. Maybe you can find them out relaxing. No. You're so adorable. Yes, you are. Okay. Oh, cool. You're sitting on top of that. What if I make the rock fall, like, now? I still don't know what the deal is with... Oh, it's not going to fall. Um, I still don't know what the deal is with that. Like, at all. Oh, hey, Tyranitar. I didn't see you back there. Uh, oh, hi, Shinx. And there's Rockruff playing in the water. Uh-huh. Is it you? You're gonna talk about... Unstable rocks, it looks like it might fall if it's enough of the force. What what would I do now? Because when I hit that crystal bloom, nothing actually happens. Um Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fall anymore. Not during daytime, I don't think. Hello. What are these? Doug Trio? Uh. Hey! Hey, you quit that! You quit circling around me like vultures, you diglet. Yeah, I don't know how to knock that thing down now. And I also don't know how to get you guys- Hi! Can you guys come together to make a Doug Trio? That'd be really cool. Okay. Well, don't know... about any of that stuff. Yeah, it seems like the diglet stay under the ground in the daytime. Weirdly enough. Okay. Oh my, Scolipede! You're like one of my favorite Pokemon! Scolipede, I'm your biggest fan! I love you! I love you, Scolipede! Please wake up! Ow. What if I light that orb up? No? Okay, well. I still love you. Who's... Walking. I like, here's something flapping, I guess. I, here's something. Okay, cool. There's another scolipede down there. Okay, there's you. Oh, it's you. You were flapping. Jeez. Okay, well, there's a few more new Pokemon. Oh, hi. Okay, well, welcome to the party, guys. Jeez. What's up? You're just living in the sludge, huh? Man, I love Scolipede. Yes, Scolipede! Scolipede's so cool! I love you! I love you so much! Alright, what is this? This whole spell discussion. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what would happen, like, what I expected to do with that. There's a Kangaskhan hanging out over here. Um. Hello. What is this, like, lover spat that's happening over here? Napping Kangaskhan. Bonk. Are you gonna be mad? Cool. Alright, anything new going on over here? Not bad. Okay, you guys went into that. I have 12 shots left. Hi. You guys are, like, doing the... Um... What's it called, uh... Scooby-Doo, like, run through one door, come out the other one thing? That was your last photo, but let's press on this time anyway. Yeah. Alright, we got anything else? Anything gonna pop out at me? No? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Alright, so... I think I got most... of the stuff, the new stuff that may have appeared there. It seemed like it was mostly just Rock Rough and Scullipede. So that's two more. If we don't get all the Pokemon this episode, we will have gotten most of them, which I can at least be sort of happy with. Uh, Alright, so... What picture of Rockruff do I want? You're bigger in this one. I think I'm gonna go with that. We got Shinx playing Peekaboo Pika with us. There we go. Scolipede being a badass that I love. Yes! I love Skullipede, man. And I actually managed to get you flying out of that stuff. Which was neat. We should probably... Um... I don't know, submit some of the other ones? Eh. Screw it. We've gotten to level 2 now, so who cares. 
I don't care as much about getting points now. I mean, there's probably a level 3, but I don't think stuff usually unlocks on the level 3s. Cool. Thank you, thank you. And Shinx. Cool. There's my boy. Who's my little nightmare? Ow. Oh. And uh, yeah, good. I'm glad yours is a diamond at least. And yeah. Yeah, I didn't expect that to actually happen, so I was caught a bit off guard by that picture. I'm surprised they even got it at all. So there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now. Oh wow, there's another level for that too. We're just getting started with this after hours research. Oh man. Yeah, maybe some of them are locked behind just like grinding out the levels and getting new stuff. I'm not sure. I should check to see um, just how uh, many Pokemon were in the game before, like what the max Pokedex size was. And then I can move up 20 from that to know how close I am to actually having all of the ones. I also gotta adjust my mic here. Hey! There we go. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go check out, now that we've done some more in that area, uh, I think I'm gonna go back to the Mighty Wide River and see if we can unlock the night version of this too. Haha! -ha, I was sorta ready for the jump scare this time. Although not really. Cause I, I, I was looking in the wrong spot. <laughs> Whoopsie. Ooh, that's new. Water flows down from a hole in the wall. That must be an alternate path? Oh my god, hi, Psyduck. <laughs> yeah, water flows down from a hole in the path. Yeah, that makes me think there's an alternate path there, but I'm not sure how I would go about getting to it. But we will try, damn it. Okay, so we got... A bunch of garbage. I didn't even realize I got a picture of a Metapod. Um... You get a pic better picture of you, although I don't think that is. Well, that's definitely a better picture of Grookey. So we'll go ahead and submit that. Um, that is an awesome picture for Alligator, excuse me. Um, yeah, Psyduck being bullied by you guys isn't really new. But this, like, flying through the water shot is... Um, this may be a better picture of Toucanon, Tropius, yeah, I got a three, which I think is, um, Tropius bobbing their head to music, um, because I was playing music for them, and that's probably a much better picture of Swampert, so, this may be enough to get us, uh, points to upgrade to the next level, hopefully. Come on! Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a big ol' four star. Much better, Grookey. And that's a much better for Alligator. I always liked for Alligator. Honestly, I liked all three of the Johto stutters. They were fantastic. I thought that was such an interesting shot, just so <laughs> like water sliding down the uh, waterfall there. Yay, 4,000 for two cannon. Cool. And you. Just barely 4,000, and that's a new pose as well. Swampert. Good stuff. Neat. Alright, so that was probably a fair few points, but I don't think it's enough to actually put me over the edge for a new level. Uh, close though. Okay, very, very close. I got you, Pokemon. I got you. Excellent. Cool. So, one more run through here, and, and I should have enough to get to the next level. Eat shit, jerk! Oh, he didn't react at all. There we go, that time you did. Yeah, eat it. Are you gonna come jump scare me again later down the way now? Damn it, that is so hard to do. 
I managed to get the first one. Okay, we got the second one. Now there's a third one behind the waterfall. I was wondering if maybe lighting all of these does something. Uh, it makes you guys fly away. I don't know if you did that before. But yeah, I lit all three of them down that like weird water slide. Which seems like it may have done something. I, I don't know. I thought it would. Alright, that's uh, everything that I got. Doesn't really seem like I got anything super interesting. Um, I got a bop picture of for alligator. Because I smacked it in the face. And, uh, let's see, I got Neutropius for smacking you. Um, do I have, like, a better Swampert picture? I mean, maybe. Um, and then I got Psyduck distracted by you. Maybe this is a better picture of you doing that. And, yeah, I noticed I didn't have a good beauty fly picture, so... I don't know, I tried to get a better one. We'll see. Hopefully that's enough to put me over, um... The point requirement. All right. That's two new stars that I got. So hopefully everything else is enough to put me over the edge. That's a 4K. That's a much better picture of Swampert. Thank you. Yeah, I think this should be enough to put me over the edge. Hopefully. Got a lot of new 4Ks. Good, good. Come on, make my day, Professor. Yes, cool. River day, level two. Another step forward. Do you have something new to tell me? Maybe that I can go here at night now? Excellent. It's a record for the course. By the way, yes, thanks for the progress, blah, blah, blah. Fill you in with the photos there, square it away. Let's go, Professor. All right, so now we'll be able to go here at night, and then I really just got to check the um, nature park again to see if I can figure out what the deal is with that Snorlax. And there's still a couple of other questions I have in other areas, but I don't know. It was a ride down the river. It seemed like quite an adventure. Just watching you really brought me back. It seriously freaked me out when the Neo One suddenly just dropped. What do you say trying the river out at night next? Yeah. Professor Tower already approved it. We're gonna fall down the waterfall in the dark. But th th that's fine. Not like I'm scared or anything. All right, if you say so. Cool. Let go. Yep. And yep, mighty wide river at night. Taking out the trash at night. Did I ever make that joke in the LP? I'd be surprised if I didn't. That's such an obvious one. What with us going out and taking pictures at night so much. Alright. Um, hi, Vivalin. Just enough light to snap some good shots. What, this thing doesn't have There's a flash? There's a lot of Pokemon if you look carefully. Uh, uh-huh. There's some, uh, more lulls. Spiderweb. We got an Ariados or Spinarak hanging around here. Some two cannon. There's a Tropius napping. Okay, yeah, you really do have to look carefully. Jeez, there's a for alligator stomping around. Interesting. Quagsire hanging out down there. Yeah, there's the Ariados. Okay. Poor Quagsire. Quagsire with their children. What was that noise? Oh, Lydian, hi. Have I gotten Lydian flying before? Whooper! Ah. There we go. Alright, now let's try this shit, except going down it this way this time. Ha! Got that one. Huh. Turn around and get this one. Boom. Boom. All right, and now river. Huh. Huh. There, I got them all. I don't know that that really did anything. Looks like there's something behind the waterfall. Yeah, I know. I've already lit that crystal bloom. But it doesn't really seem to do shit. Wait, what is this? 
Large Pokemon scaled this waterfall, leaving deep gouges in the stones. What? What? Well, how do I- how do I climb the waterfall? I don't have anything to leave deep gouges in the stone. Maybe go up there, I wonder? Hi, Psyduck. Uh, well, I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there, per se. Hey, hey Palm. Ledian, you flying behind me? Yep. Yeah, how would I go about climbing that? I don't know. Maybe it's something I can follow up on in the other version now? I don't know, man. I don't know. Some of these are hard to figure out. Uh, pop. Hi, Quagsire. There you go. Very happy Wooper. Look at this happy family. Adorable. I love it. Alright. Anything interesting down here? Uh, Hytropius. Very large Pokemon climb that- I mean, could it be for Ralligator that did it? Or is it actually a new Pokemon? Ralligator's the only thing I can think of here that has claws, per se. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Hmm. Well, I, uh... Got some new stuff. So that's neat. And we did find that out about the waterfall. Like I said, maybe going there in the daytime now will change something. We got a new whooper. Yay. It's a happy whooper. Looking at its, uh, parent. Cool. All right. Yep, let's have a look. Uh, looks happy. I could've got better timing. Thanks, Mirror. That doesn't depress me at all. Alright. Research level. Plop. Yeah. I imagine the Pokemon behave differently. Keep up the good work. But we didn't get anything new. Except for the fact that there's apparently gouge marks on the waterfall. So... I'm gonna try to go there. We'll, we'll look at this new thing from Todd. And then uh, maybe I'll try to go there in the daytime on level two and see if anything changed. Hey. We will try. Um, so what is this new thing from you, Todd? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yup, wow, there's a lot in Bella Silva. Oh wait, I was scrolling to the wall. I expected there to be like an end. Uh, psychic psychic diving spot. Phil said the Neo one suddenly shifted course around here, and he also heard a long noise, a loud noise. I wonder if something fell. Wait, what? Where is that? Neo one suddenly shifted course around here, and he also heard a loud noise. I wonder if something fell. What? What? Diving spot. O okay. Maybe I should go back in at night and see what the deal with that is. I don't know. Let's try. It's a very vague shot. It's like a big rock with like a tree beside it. Um, I think I recalled hearing a loud noise at some point. But I didn't know exactly where to look. I think this is the spot right here. Yeah, I think this is it. Hey you, jump down! Wherever you are. Okay, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it's actually gonna work. Uh, boom! I did get that. Missed that one. So I don't really know if there's even a point in doing this. Yeah, I don't know. And then yeah, we can examine this again. Find some gouge spots up there. I don't even see these gouge spots that you're talking about, really. But something clearly climbed the waterfall. 
And I have no idea what it was. What the hell was that? What? What was that? That was like some kind of big flying bird. What? Was that a legendary I've been missing this whole time? Huh. Or maybe it was, I don't know, something simpler than that, but... Who's to know? God, I, I feel like I could sit here all day trying to figure a lot of this stuff out. I suppose it could have been Tropius that I saw flying like that. Might have been. I just saw something kind of big flying. So, yeah, I'm not totally sure. Okay, I think now's the time when I look at the complete list of Pokemon and see if I can figure out, um... Which ones I'm missing, so... New Pokemon Snap Update. New Pokemon. So let's see what I am missing. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything. Yeah, I'm good. Alright. So... All Pokemon confirmed. So let's look- Okay, well we haven't seen that one. We haven't seen that one. Okay, they, they have like a thumbnail for something, and we haven't seen that one, and it's definitely one I expected to be there. Um, okay, so... Ah, whoops. Okay, this article doesn't actually say... All 20. Um, there's one I've seen that I don't have. Hmm... Yeah... Well, that's weird. Hmm... Yeah... Yeah, this doesn't actually list... ...the new ones. Um... Doesn't seem like any of these articles list the new ones, I guess. Dern. Well, um, I know w uh, of one that I have not gotten, um, and I'm pretty sure it would be here in the Mighty Wide River. Um, and I have some hypotheses. The hypotheses? The picture that I saw shows it in daytime. So I'm gonna try going here in day. And see if I can get it to show up. Look at this. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh, wait. So, Day does have new stuff, because that was just an R box swimming in the water, which is terrifying, by the way. I don't like that R box can just be like, yo, what's up? A snake in the water. That's kind of terrifying. Oh, hey, it's Wooper here this time instead of uh, the other thing. So yeah, we, I, th I thought we had actually came here at research level 2, but evidently we had not yet. So maybe we'll just find this new thing here now. Huh! Huh! What? What was that? What was that? Okay, is this that diving spot? This must be that diving spot, because something just knocked... Something just knocked my Neo 1. And I don't know what that is. And now we're on a different path. That's kind of intimidating, actually. What? What just hit my Neo 1? I don't like this. <laughs> I didn't ask for any Subnautica in my, uh, in my Pokemon. I did not ask for this. Ugh. That was scary. Okay, so, yeah, something new definitely happened there. Um... Not exactly sure what it was that hit me. It must have been something kind of sizable if it rocked the entire Neo 1, though. I just have absolutely no idea what. Okay, nothing... Nothing new that I saw, but, um... Something definitely did rock the boat at one point, so... I want to figure out what that is. Definitely, definitely want to figure out what that is. 
Oh, cool. It lets you select which research level you want to go in as now when you click retry. Yeah, I saw that it had some new quality of life updates. That must be one of them. Because, yeah, that's quite nice. Maybe it's the Arbok that hits me? I'm not really sure. All I know is something hits me when I'm riding, a, riding around out here. And I'm gonna find out who that jerk is. I don't even know if that was really the spot that it said the thing apparently rocks your, uh, your Neo 1. I thought it was a different spot, like this one. But apparently it's not here, because there was a request about it from Phil. Phil said someone dives, but it happened to me like way down here. So, I don't know. We'll see. There you are! There you are! There you are! Oh my god, what hit me? I don't know what that was. Shit, I was paying attention to the, the other thing swimming beneath the water. I was too busy paying attention to that to notice the other stuff. Alright, let, let's, let's just retry. I saw it though. We all saw it. It was there. The creature lurking beneath the deep. The Leviathan-class entity that has been detected. It was there. God, Gyarados would be terrifying to actually run into. I remember seeing an episode of the anime when I was young, and it was the one where they get, like, attacked by the Gyarados and, like, dragon-raged and stuff. And I was like, oh my god, that would be terrifying. Could you imagine just swimming in the water? And a Gyarados just comes by, or like a Huntail or some shit. Oh man, talk about nightmare fuel. <clears throat> All right, where is this Gyarados? Let's try to see it a bit earlier. See if I can maybe smack it with a fluff root or something. Let's also okay. Quagsire is the one that jumps and hits me, I think. But where's this Gyarados? Yep, it's Quagsire, but. Where'd the Gyarados go? Shit, I had a picture of it last time. But, uh... This time I didn't get the picture. I wonder, did I... Was it something I did that made it pop up? Maybe I should continue the level to see if it pops up later. I don't know why it would, though, but... Yeah. Because it was just in the water. We saw it. I took a picture of it last time, but I clicked retry. I want to... I wanted to see if I could hit it with something, but it, I didn't even see it that time, weirdly enough. There it is! Get us! I see you! I don't know how to get you to come out, though. Dern. Yeah, I just don't know how to get- OH MY GOD! Oh, that, that, okay, never mind, that was- <laughs> That was just the stupid quagsire again, I thought- <laughs> I was looking for the Gyarados, so when my thing got bumped, I'm like, Oh my god, Gyarados is killing me! <laughs> All right, I'm not totally sure I know how to get it to come out of the water. I mean, we've seen it. Let, let's let's just go turn in the photo. I would like to see it in all of its splendor, but th this video is going on for an immensely long time. And if I sit here all day trying to figure this stuff out, I will be here all day. So please take this very very shitty picture of Gyarados Mirror. Let's do this. I'm gonna check those photos. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that great? Nice work. Ooh, yeah, poses. Wow, how is that actually an okay picture? What the? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, Mira, you do you. Okay, so we got that. There's still some questions on other levels. Um, I might go pop in to see if I can figure out what the deal is with Snorlax really quickly. I hate- I hate this shit, where it's like, how do we get over there? Because it's like, can't you just go through right there? And get over there? Like, it's so weird to me that it even... is a puzzle. It seems like such a non-puzzle, it seems like you just walk over there. Did I get a new picture of Wurmple? Whatever this three star is. Oh, it's when it's, uh, looking at me. It's like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like ten times your size. I will annihilate you. All right. So, yeah. Mm, nice work. Well, now you're like the size of a scolipede. Well, that, well, there we go. We got a four thousand wormhole picture. That's neat. 
I hope you don't have to increase the research level of these places to do this because 70,000 points is actually quite a big ask. I am happy for people that are like, that got this update and are just like going to be playing it in their free time because it does seem like it adds quite a bit of content. So I'm sure people are quite happy with this. Assuming they're not pissed off that now their complete Pokédex is incomplete. <laughs> <clears throat> But yeah, let's go into night now, and I'll see if I can figure out the Snorlax thing. I tried a few things, couldn't get it to work. So let's go here again. Yeah, like I don't get it. Like why can't we just walk the same way the fungus are going now? Why isn't it just one of the scan prompts that you just take an alt path and you're good? I can't go here because this big duck lip butt's in the way. It seems like it's so obvious. It's just like you see the Fungus or some other Pokemon go that way and you're like, Oh yeah, we can go this way. And that's it. <laughs> but no, it's not like that, weirdly. Alright, well, I didn't really get anything but a new picture of Fungus. So I'll submit that picture of you guys and... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the deal is with the Snorlax. It's th this recording is now two hours. I, I think I've figured out all I'm going to figure out. Maybe it's just as simple as increasing the level, or maybe, like I said, it's once again the complex series of events that you have to do to make something happen that's not inherently obvious. So I don't know. But as for right now, I give up. I mostly just wanted to check out the update to see what it was like and see what new Pokemon I could find. And I think I got a pretty good amount of them. Like I may be missing like four or five, maybe even less than that, honestly. Um, I may have gotten more than I thought. Or maybe I'm missing more than that. I, I don't know, but I feel like I did an okay job. I did look up, uh, actually we can go over here. Not, not to research, not to research. We can go over here and um, I have a thing pulled up. Uh, okay, so there were 214 Pokemon in the original one. There's 220 new Pokemon added. I mean, there's 220 new Pokemon added. Yeah, I bet people would go crazy if that was the case. No, there's 20 new Pokemon added. So, 234. So, we're missing... Wow, we are missing more than I thought. We're missing seven. I... I don't know where those are. I mean, there's... There's clearly a side path in the desert area that I didn't get to take. And there's the sweet scent thing that I couldn't figure out. There's the rock that you knock into the, the like, geyser, but when you knock it into the geyser, nothing happens. So there's clearly more to that that I never figured out. You can also probably increase the level of those various areas to make other new things happen, but... That's a lot of time and basically grinding, so... <clears throat> I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of this off here. Like I said, I mostly just wanted to look at the updates, see what they had and everything, but some of these seem like a lot of trial and error and me just kind of having to sit here and figure it out, which I unfortunately don't have the time for. But yeah, this was really cool. It's really nice that this was added into the game. Just a nice little extra bit of content for people that either get it late or people that had the game and were fiending for more. Although, boy, I don't know how you could fiend for more after the amount of content that is in this, but yeah, I mean, props to Nintendo. This is a very well-made, complete product. So, yeah. All right, so that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the, I think it's 2.0 update for Pokemon Snap. Hopefully there's more updates to come, and if there are, I'll definitely check those out as well. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.